This is just a quick review of how you manually can target lesions for MR-guided breast biopsies. So many people are using CAD software for targeting, and when it works, it works really well, and when it doesn't work, it can be a bit of a disaster. You know, you don't have a lot of time to muck about and play around with software in the middle of these biopsies. So I would highly recommend that you know how to manually target a breast biopsy. It's so easy. It really, you know, this is not rocket science, and it means that you can quickly change. Um, and, you know, to be honest, I can do it as fast as I can do it on the targeting software, but you can quickly change in the middle over to manual targeting. All you have to do is calculate the depth, either from the sagittal slice positions or from the axial images, identify which grid you're going to go in relative to where the fiducial has been placed, and then identify the needle position in the grid square. So being a bit of a belt and suspender sort of a gal, I always have um, one of these worksheets from our pre-CAD um, days with me at the biopsy so I can just flip over in a heartbeat to doing some very easy targeting. So I'm going to walk through the method for manual targeting. So as one of my residents said when we were going through a little workshop on this, oh, this is just battleships, and it really is. So the first thing you're going to need is to make sure that you have the correct grid. Um, so I'm uh, showing you here that the, there's two different um, worksheets. There's going to be the lateral right or medial left, and then there's going to be the opposite to that. And I always, uh, if, while I'm planning the procedure, I kind of draw the breast on, looking at the size of the breast in the woman, and I'm going to tell the technologist where I think the lesion's going to be so that they just have some idea of how they need to place that breast. Here's the opposite sheet, and you can see here, this is the lateral left and medial right. So let's run through a lesion to show you the process. So this is a patient who has a slightly lateral lesion in the middle of their right breast. So I'm gonna come from a lateral approach here, and you can see on the sagittal, it's in the upper part of the breast. So here we are, here is our sagittal post gadolinium um, study from the biopsy study. We can see our lesion nicely here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to identify my location, the sagittal slice here, it's at 79.7 uh, millimeters, image 14. I'm gonna put an X on the lesion and then you scroll back until you find the grid. So here we are, we're scrolling back going toward it, and you can see I have a cursor there, just left it be on the lesion. And usually once we get the grid, we've usually got about three different slices that we see the grid. So I take the middle of those slices. I'm just gonna go a bit further so you can see that. Now you can see on this slice, we're now well through the grid face, which is the area that we want to be able to calculate our depth from, but we can now see that the fiducial was placed before and we can work out what square that fiducial is in relative to our cursor position. So in this case, we can see that our cursor was one square um, towards the head, so one grid square towards the head relative to the cursor, and it's in the upper outer quadrant of that square and you can go back and forth um, between the different sagittal slices to confirm that. So just to show you back a sagittal slice, my grid lines are here. I know that my fiducial is in this square here from the previous image and you can see where the X falls within that square. I know I need to go one grid square towards the patient's head, and I know that I want to put my biopsy needle in the top right-hand corner right here. Now, how do we calculate depth? There's two ways of calculating depth. You can use your location where the lesion was. So here, 79.7. And then use the sagittal location where your grid face is. I say as you take like the uh, middle three of where I think the face is, 97.7, and subtract the two. Or if you obtain an axial image, you can just calculate the depth very easily like that. I actually do both and just make sure that they're both concordant. Told you I'm a 
belt and suspender sort of a person. So this is pretty easy now. We know that our fiducial was sitting here. We knew that it was in the C4 square when we placed it. We know from the images that we had to go one towards their head um, in this square here. In this case, it's labeled C5, and we knew we wanted to go in the top right-hand corner. So we mark that on the image view, and then we're going to convert that over to the patient view. So I know that my little block is going to be in square C5, so I've got that marked. I know it's going to be on C5 with B6, C5 with B6, and that's where my needle position is going to be. And then you just convert it here to the needle guide using their worksheet. And you can see here I've calculated my depth of distal grip face, my depth of target, subtracted the two to come up with 18 millimeters, which is almost exactly the same as I measured on the transaxial images. And then after you've done your manual targeting, everything else is going to be the same. I'm just going to very briefly say this is not the same grid positioning as you just saw in the prior image, in case you're confused. Um, but when we go in, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm always going to confirm that my fiducial is in the square that the technologist told me it was in. Um, in this case, these bunny ears ones only fit in one place, but in other ones they can be placed variably. I'm then going, so I'm going to... Um, have a technologist or resident reading over my shoulder and I'm going to say my fiducial is in one, two, three, four from the patient's head, one, two, three from their chest. I'm then going to do the same where I put my marker block in and say I'm going to go in this case one, two, three, four, five, six from the patient's head, one, two, three from their chest and place my marker block there and I'm going to go in the top right hand corner and at every time we're confirming this from our um, calculated sheet. Depth, as you know, you calculate um, from either the sagittal or the axial images or both, and your depth marker, depending on your system, is usually set by having some kind of a rubber bung of which the proximal end, so your needle is going to come in from this end, should be showing the depth. And then obviously you're going to confirm your positioning after you've put the fiducial in, so here's our lesion. Um, after um, gadolinium but pre-biopsy. This particular fiducial marker is different than the one I showed earlier. This one has gadolinium showing the entire chamber, showing that the lesion is in great positioning. And then post-biopsy, we have a nice hematoma there to show us we've done an adequate biopsy. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them.